Hey everyone, welcome to the review, and here's my review for the movie Freaky! Yes, Freaky. Freaky stars Vince Vaughn and Catherine Newton, and this movie is directed by Christopher Landon, the guy who gave us the Happy Death Day movies. And this is the new uh, Blumhouse movie, uh, and it's a new horror comedy by this guy who gave us two previous horror comedies. Um, I, I didn't know anything about this movie. I, I watched a trailer a couple of weeks before I saw it, which I saw last night, and I was like, maybe the, it looks kind of funny, but I don't know. It's Christopher Landon. I'm not a big fan of this director and his work. Uh, I was never a Happy Death Day fan. I, I saw both of them in theaters. Never saw them again because I just didn't care. Uh, they were both kind of just meh movies. They were just eh. Couple funny moments here and there. The main girl is always great. Uh, was her name Jessica Roth? Uh, she's fine, but like I never got into those movies. They weren't my kind of thing. Just I don't know. They weren't. They weren't for me. They were just eh movies. And after seeing the movie Freaky, it just kind of confirms my suspicions of Christopher Landon that I'm not a big fan of his work. This is another kind of meh movie for me. It's more. Better, it's better than the Happy Day Death Day movies. Those were kind of like meh, but this one's like a better meh. <laughs> Story of this movie is like it's like Freaky Friday if it was a horror movie. It's literally this teenage girl played by Catherine Newton, and she switches bodies of a serial killer played by Vince Vaughn, and yep, yeah, they swap bodies. And Vince Vaughn, Vince Vaughn, is basically a teenage girl. And that's basically where all the comedy and all the good stuff comes from is Vince Vaughn. He is the entire movie for me. Uh, if he failed at his performance, if he was a failure, this movie would be a failure because he is the whole movie for me. Uh, he is great in the movie. He is very funny in a lot of moments. He does the teenage girl really well. I did not think he could do that. He does it good. He does a very good job. I always knew Vince, Vince Vaughn is a funny guy. I like a lot of Vince Vaughn movies. I hate a lot of Vince Vaughn movies, but I, I like a lot of Vince Vaughn movies. He's a very hate, hit or miss for me. For me, this is a hit. Uh, the movie isn't like a Grand Slam hit, but his performance is. He is very funny. He is very good, and I really enjoyed him. And his, his interaction with the two friends was really funny. It was really good. There's a really... Uh, bizarre moment too like i didn't think they would go this route but they did and they got balls this movie and i kind of appreciate that uh katherine newton was okay she had the easier job in the film she just had to act creepy and scary because she had to be the serial killer she was just like kind of and just just kind of look intimidating and stuff so she was okay all the other teenagers were also just kind of meh. They weren't awful, but they weren't particularly great or particularly memorable. This is Vince Vaughn's movie, and he steals it, and he's very good in the film. And if that is enough to sell you on the film, go see it. If you want to see Vince Vaughn hack like a teenage girl and have a good time and have a few laughs, you'll have fun with this film. That I want a better story. I probably want more laughs. I want something more engaging, something more unique. This is not a very original story. I've seen this shit done before. I want something different. And this movie obviously didn't give me that, but yeah, didn't expect it to. Uh, I also, uh, I wanted a better performance from Catherine Newton. I wanted her to be, there's a lot more comedy she could have, played, even though I thought her performance was okay, she could have done a lot more with the serial killer aspects and stuff, and there's also a few jokes they could have put in the movie, but they were too scared to, and they shouldn't have. I, don't get me wrong, there's some pretty ballsy jokes, I'm like, nice job, but like, there's a serial killer inside a teenage girl's body. What do you think a, a creepy 40-year-old serial killer would do if he was in a teenage girl's body? What is the first... Thing he's gonna do like come on what is the first thing and they don't do it i'm like come on that's the first thing a guy would do i'm telling you right now but um there is also like there's some pretty boring like kills it's a horror movie too there's one good death scene that's really creative and very good i'm like that was pretty cool the rest are very basic and just formulaic and stuff and 
it's got a predictable ending, I say, and yeah, it's I saw it all coming and stuff, and I didn't hate this movie. I think that's the best thing to take away from this review. I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. It wasn't awful. It just wasn't great. It wasn't that great for me. It was, it's not my thing. Like, this is gonna, like, make people laugh. I, I think a lot of people will love this film. I, I think people will have a blast and have a great time with it. That's fine. Just like, I, I believe if you're a Happy Death Day fan, this is for you. I'm not a Happy Death Day fan, so this didn't really blow me away or anything. This was just kind of a okay kind of movie for me. I loved Vince Vaughn, and that's about it, but that's just me. I think a lot of people will have a good time with it. So I, I'd say if you are a Happy Death Day fan, definitely go check it out. It's definitely for you. For me, I'd give it on a scale of 1 to 10. I'd give it like a 6 out of 10. It's okay. It's not awful. I wasn't pissed that I saw it, but... Nothing all that great. So in the comments section, well, please tell me, uh, what is your favorite a Blumhouse movie? Why not? Favorite Blumhouse movie? Uh, mine is definitely not this. <laughs> it's something. I don't know. I don't want to think so. What is your favorite Blumhouse movie? Comment below. Let me know. And as, and as always, like this video. Please subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.